Hi you guys, welcome back. I wanted to come on today and do a review on my um, hairstyle that I have right now. I just put this in uh, about three days ago, I think, and um, I'm loving it. This is the um, Kima Braid Ocean Wave, and yes, I do have another video about Kima Braid Ocean Wave, but um, I normally wear it short. This is my first time wearing it long. Um, I've never wanted to wear it long before because this hair does kind of tangle, and um, and I, I feel like it tangles because it really mimics our hair texture a little more than some of the other hair. It's not silky which is one thing that I like. I don't like silky hair, um, you know, when it's synthetic because it has that shiny plastic look and I don't like that. Um, but with this hair, it's more of, it's really close to my hair texture. And, you know, and when I wear my hair down, my hair tangles too. So, you know, it's nothing that's just drastic. Um, this hair is a 20 because I know this Kima Bright Ocean Way comes in different lengths. You can get it in a 14 inch, but um, I bought it in a 20 inch and I'm going to show you where it comes on me. It's pretty long. It's really long, but um, it's, it's manageable. Um, the color that I have in is a 427. Um, I did four packs of a number four and only one pack of a 27 and I did not use the whole pack of the 27 because I only put like a few pieces here and there of the 27s. So you can really do this with four packs of hair. Um, let me see. Um, okay. I also with, um, the way I put it in. All the way up to about here, I did the hair full out. Then when I came to about this um, crown bowl area right here, I cut the hair in half. And I cut the hair in half so it wouldn't be so long and just blunt straight looking. So um, I did cut it in the front. So like the pieces in the front are stopping about here. Because it's cut in half. Okay. And there's something else that's very interesting about how I did my hair this time. Um, I bought a, um, a braided wig cap. Um, I know a lot of people have been using these for crochet braids. Um, it has on here that you can use it for crochet braids and also for weaves. But, um... I've never used it. I've never used a braided cap to um, glue hair on or sew hair on. I've only used the, the regular little dollar wig cap. Um, this particular one, as you can see, was $8.99 at my um, local beauty supply store. And um, they had different ones that were higher than this one. Um, this particular cap. It has combs in the front in this area here, and there is a comb in the back. Now, normally when I do a crochet wig, I crochet the wig onto my head, but I could not do that with this one because all the way along the perimeter of the cap was like a fabric that I could not get my crochet needle through. So, um... I'm guessing that it is made to be worn all the way up here like a um, a regular wig. So that was one thing that I did not like about it. But the um, pro about it is uh, I get to take the wig off at night instead of wearing it to bed, which helps with the tangling. And I'm going to show you guys how I did this. So, um, I just have it like in a little ponytail at the top right now. Let me show you my, the short hair. <laughs> okay, um, so you can kind of see where the hair is shorter up top. Let me 
you can really um, create a good little hairstyle with this. And um, I normally don't comb at this hair. I usually just finger comb. I know some people use like a brush or thing, you know, something like that. But to me, when you use a brush on this type of hair, it um, the friction of it just causes the hair to tangle up faster than it would um, normally. So I just um, I just finger comb. So I just finger comb it down. So you can kind of see it, okay? So you see how it kind of gives it like a little layer of frame look around my face. And, you know, just kind of give it a little more of a style, okay? And I'm going to show you how I made it look like crochet braids in the front. Because I couldn't crochet this on like I normally do. Just um, every night, I take it down, take it off, just pull out those combs. And there you have it, you guys. It is completely off. But um, along the front of my head, I um, crocheted hair on. And um, so the only thing that I really have to kind of work with at night is this hair in the front. And all I do is I, um, I kind of, I finger comb through it to get the tangles out. Finger comb, finger comb, finger comb. And then I just pull this back, grab a body pin. Do the same thing on the other side. Pull it back. Pull it back. And grab another bottle again. And to protect my my edges. I tie it down. And I'm also protecting um, those few braids that I have in my head. And then voila, I'm ready for bed. But um, I, I just put this on my wig head stand thingy. Now, I want to show you guys the inside of it. This is the inside of the wig. You have a comb in the back right here. You also have adjustable straps. Okay. And then there are combs in the front. So, um, you don't really have to worry about, oh, this wig is going to fall off my head. It's, it's not going anywhere. It's, it, it will be on your head. So um, this is the fabric that I was talking about. I could not get my crochet needle through this fabric. So um, the next time I do this, I may try one of the other wig caps to see if I can get my crochet needle because I... I, I like to crochet it on my head. Um, but um, like I said, with, with me being able to take this off every night, it'll kind of help with keeping it intact. Okay. And then I'm, I'm going to put it back on and let you guys see how easy it is to put it back on. And um, my braid pattern, I did not do a whole lot of braids. I, I have 12 braids going across the front. Um, and I did them small just because, you know, I was doing crochet braids. And then 
I parted my hair down the middle and just did two braids going down. That's it. Um, I was trying to hurry up, honey. So, um, since I was trying to hurry, I didn't want to waste a whole lot of time doing a whole bunch of braids and braiding it all the way to the back, taking two hours to braid my hair. I, I don't have time for that. I just uh, did two um, braids going back. My last braid on each side, on this side, my last braid is going all the way back. And towards the back side, I have something to hook on that, um, the comb in the back. And the same thing over here, my last braid is going down. Okay. I put it back on. And I just kind of find those little um, ear tabs that they have on here to make sure I'm placing it right. you go from blah to ooh la la in like five seconds okay okay and there you are a full head of crochet braids And, and, you know, I just grab a little bit of the hair in the front, put it in the ponytail. Now, this is how I've been wearing it. Um, I think it's, like, too glammed up. When I wear it down, and I'm just going to work, so don't need to be glammed up to go to work. So there you go, you guys. So I'm um, keeping my braid down once again. Tell me what you guys think. Just add something to the comments. If you have not subscribed, go ahead on subscribe. And I will continue making videos. Um, and whenever I do something new or something, um, that I feel like you guys will want to see, I will come on and make a video. Um, I haven't graduated to tutorials yet, but, um, I may start doing tutorials so you all can see how to do these things at home by yourself to save money. So thank you guys for watching. Bye.